Okay, now look at this question. Huh? The International Space Station operates at an altitude. Ah, the word altitude here reminds of the height, distance from the surface. It is the H. Okay, uh, H from, uh, from surface. Remember, this distance is from surface. Okay, distance from surface. Uh, it's kilometer. You have to change it, yeah? Kilometer. Uh, radius of Earth. Uh, this is the radius of Earth given. Okay, uh, meter. And the mass is... Uh, okay, this is the mass of Earth, not the mass of the ISS. Huh? Uh, this International Space Station is what we call ISS. Okay. But this is the mass of Earth. Yeah, he said the radius of Earth and the mass is. So this is definitely the mass of Earth. Uh, the mass of the, po the point mass. The provider of the field. The, the mass of Earth. Yeah, the point mass. So, find the gravitational field strength. Again, this is about field strength. The word field. The word field means it's AG. It's not the gravitational force. It's not the gravitational force, understand? It's not the gravitational force. It's the feel, feel strength, feel. Uh, it is the uh, A, A, G, gravitational field strength or acceleration due to gravity. Yeah? Sometimes the question also asks, uh, what is the acceleration due to gravity at this point? So, uh, you can either ask acceleration due to gravity or field strength. Uh, both of them mean A, G. At a point uh, 350 kilometer from the Earth's surface. So, uh, yeah, this is the same thing as the above there. Yeah? The point uh, 350 from where? From the surface. So, this is the same as before. Lah. Uh, this is the same as before. Okay, this one. Okay, it's the same as this one. Okay, 350 from surface. From surface, uh, this means the altitude. Lah. Yeah, from surface or from from the distance from the surface is the height. Okay, 350 kilometer, 350 kilometer is the same thing. Yeah, so he want to find the gravitational field strength at this point also at this altitude. Uh, the field strength at where at the location of the ISS, the location at ISS. So, okay, this the behind here is the same same thing as the front here. Okay. So I want to find the AG at this point. Okay, so how? Uh, what's the formula for AG? AG is GM over R square. Uh, remember the R here, you need to take radius of Earth plus the altitude. Uh, uh, the distance of R is uh, from the point to the center of Earth. So you must plus the radius of Earth also, not just use the H. Okay, remember the R is not just the H. Uh, the R is not just a H. It is H plus radius of Earth. Okay, because we measure to the center, not to the surface only. Not to the surface, or to the center of Earth. Okay? Uh, so, again, I just want to write it here. AG formula is GM over R square. Uh, so, again, this is the point mass. This is the point mass. This is the one who provide, provide the field. Okay, provide, he provide the field. Uh, so we use the mass of Earth for this one, not the mass of the, the uh, ISS. Okay, and then the R here, the R here is use the radius of Earth plus the altitude. Uh, remember this, yeah? Plus the altitude. So, okay, let us do it, yeah? Uh, let us, I want to drag this below a bit, okay? So let's calculate uh, one by one. So, what is the uh, value of G? What is the value of G? Gravitational constant, uh, 6.67, negative 11. So, write it down. 6.67, negative 11. Okay, that's, that's the right. Yeah, uh, this one. Okay. Okay, 6.67, negative 11. And then mass of Earth. What is the mass of Earth? Mass of Earth, uh, this one is 5.98. 5.98 exponent what exponent 24 uh, exponent 24 divided by uh, so it's a radius of earth plus altitude huh? so radius of earth is 
6.37 exponent exponent 6 uh, exponent 6 plus altitude what's the altitude 350 kilometer so 350 kilo kilo is exponent 3 exponent 3 uh, kilo is exponent 3 exponent 3 okay uh, square uh, we, we don't forget the square many students forget about the square okay kilo kilo is exponent 3 yeah uh, square don't forget the square so let's calculate uh, let's calculate and see okay uh, okay I got it ready yeah I got the answer is uh, 8 point uh, 8.83 8 8 8 uh, yeah 8.83 that's the right answer 8.83 meter per second square or you can write as newton per kilogram uh, that's the unit for so is the answer correct yes it's correct yeah so 8.82 uh, is near to 8.83 meter per second square okay so that's the answer okay hope you understand okay let's move on